is available on Blend Swap and was modeled by Chris Kuhn. Go get it. The link is below. I'm going to show you how to do to this castle what I did to the bike. And like I said in the last video, the node tree will be pretty much the same with a couple changes. We just put our castle in edit mode and separate by loose parts, then put it all in a group. Next, I'm going to import the node tree that I did on the bike from the bike's file. Go to node tree and find the one that you used. You might have to select it at bottom there. See, this one looks just as happy as the last one, except for I'm not going to do the joke this time. We'll just move this over a little bit. And we don't need this debug node. I was using that to figure out what I was trying to do. Move my frame node out of the way. You can see, we, last one we used this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. An important difference on my object transform output is that I'm only affecting scale. We actually use this random node over here, which I've got set to minimum 30 and maximum 30 as well. And I'm going to change my math node, my subtract node, to 30 also, so we can see what it is that I'm doing. This divide node set to 10 dictates how many frames it takes for each piece to shrink into non-existence. This minimum node makes sure that my no output is never higher than one, while this maximum node makes sure my output is never lower than zero. So all of those make all of the pieces shrink at the same speed from scale one to scale zero as you progress through the frames. If I change my maximum value of my random node and connect it to my subtract node, you can see I get a variance of when they shrink. That subtract node's A input decides when each piece will be at zero scale. Now they were all shrinking into a spot marked by that yellow dot towards the top center of the model. You know, like the blocks were being sucked into some sort of a vortex or something. Well, if I want kind of a dissolve effect, then I want the blocks to collapse into themselves, into their own centers. So I origin to geometry every block. And now we have a nice disintegration effect. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Pretty cool. Now, if I disconnect my random node here, then they'll all shrink at the same time because they all want to be shrunk by frame 30. Now I want it to take 30 frames to shrink down, and I want it to be shrunk all the way to nothing by 60. And it takes much longer. So this node decides how many frames it takes to shrink, while this one decides how at what frame it's supposed to be shrunk, we connect the random to vary it. And look, that's exactly the look I wanted. Please like and subscribe so that you don't miss the next one.